Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be unboxing my recent Studio Caligo kit. I actually have the Traveler's Notebook kit and stamp kit that I'll be unboxing today and then we will be documenting the weeds, I guess they are. I'm not really sure what these flowers are called, but they're little tiny flowers that grow in all of our yard. So the kit came with this checkered pink washi tape. I loved it, but I didn't actually end up using it on this layout. A three by four stamp set, also super cute that I didn't end up using. Two sets of these three by eight stickers, some alphas, and this traveler's notebook. I did pull the staples out of this traveler's notebook already because I do disc bound my traveler's notebooks. So I will be pulling a page out to use for today's spread and then just kind of setting the rest aside. And I'm just kind of doing a quick flip through here to show you what was in the actual Traveler's Notebook for this kit. And I believe this kit was called the Grove Kit. Super cute, I loved it. I think I loved almost every single page in the Traveler's Notebook, so I'm super excited about that. The next thing I'm gonna be opening is the die cuts. And I'm gonna just lay them out on my table and kind of show you what die cuts were included in this month's kit. I also loved pretty much all of these, so hopefully I use them up right away. And the keep growing and tag I'm actually gonna be using in today's spread. I'm kind of, as I'm unboxing this on video, trying to figure out which pieces I want to pull aside to use for my spread. So you'll kind of see me tapping my fingers and deciding as I'm unboxing these. These are nested chipboard shapes, obviously squares, and I am going to be using the one that says the little details, but I'm only gonna be using the outside of the nested squares. So like I said, I'm subscribed to the Traveler's Notebook Kit and the Stamp Kit. So I'm pulling aside the things that I know that I'm gonna wanna use in today's spread and then setting aside everything else. I am trimming this Traveler's Notebook page down to four and one eighth of an inch and I'm going to trim both sides down. My goal for today was to only use the things that were included in this kit. At the end, I did end up using washi tape from another kit, but I actually think I decided to do that after I stopped filming, so that's not even on video. But for the most part, I only used things included in the kits themselves. So, truthfully, my left-hand side might not completely <laughs> go along with my right hand side because I use some of the buildings in the stamp set because I thought they were so so cute but I might try and see if I can find some like flower shaped stamps and see if I have any of those to kind of just add to the left side later on to kind of bring in the florals to that side as well so I'm kind of just dry fitting everything right now seeing what I really want to do I know for certain I want to take this picture of the weeds in my backyard we forgot to pay our lawn people, so we had weeds growing like crazy, but it was mostly just these flowers, and they were growing in like these little tufts all over the yard, and quite honestly, I loved it. So I took my, my nice camera outside one day, and I was just snapping pictures of them, and then, you know, the lawn people came and mowed them all down, but whatever. <laughs> um... But I love this picture so much. So I was just writing about the little weeds that grow all over the yard. So I'm gonna use the stamp, the stamp set to add a bunch of stamps after I get my primary embellishments laid down. I'm gonna use this tag. This is where I'm gonna add my journaling. And I was testing that washi tape to see if it would work but decided against it ultimately that it just didn't really match anything in my spread and I didn't want to add another color and have to figure out how to incorporate that on both sides. So I'm grabbing my archival ink from close to my heart, my archival black ink from close to my heart, and I'm gonna stamp makes me happy over that chipboard outline, that chipboard square 
on the left hand side I'm kind of placing it all over my spread to try and figure out what looks best and then I decided to put it on the left hand side I'm now putting kind of tape on that square but I decided like maybe I should check these buildings here and see how they would look because I felt like it would just be too empty to only have the square there so I'm hovering the square over the building stamps to see if I might like that and I decide that I do so I'm going to go ahead and ink those up in that archival black ink as well I'm using my die cut embellishment that says keep growing as kind of like a placeholder to to write remember where I want that stamp to end so just kind of making sure I'm putting it in the right place so I'm stamping all of the details of that stamp and then I'm gonna stamp the colored versions colored portions of that stamp in the shortbread ink also from close to my heart on both of those buildings to bring a little bit of that yellow from my flowers over to the left hand side of the spread as well once I get that stamped I will kind of hover my chipboard square over it just to make sure everything fits like I'm wanting and then I'm gonna go ahead and just stick it down and this is where I was saying that like my sides kind of might not match or go with each other the best because I've got buildings on the left hand side and flowers on the right hand side but I'm thinking I might just see if I've got some flower stamps to maybe stamp around the bottom of the spread or something like that to kind of tie them two together I was solely just trying to use the contents of the kit to make a spread today and that's why I ended up being kind of so random because I was just trying to use the stuff that I had I'm also going to be grabbing the little detail stamp from the stamp kit and I'm going to stamp that under my photo and then I'm going to grab the location icon and I'm actually going to stamp that in my little sticker that says everything or I'm sorry enjoying all the little things and I'm going to stamp that right in there and I'm also going to overlap it with the photo I added my journaling that just says these little weeds grow in our yard all over and they are such a favorite I did spell favorite wrong <laughs> spoiler alert um, and then the kids pick them for me I wanted to write more but I didn't have a ton of space but my kids love these flowers they pick them all the time and always bring them to me anyways thank you so much for joining me today have a great rest of your day bye